And so this post was one of the few that they had made during this very long break. And on that Reddit post, we can see the comments and a lot of them are very supportive, but there are some that are more critical and not quite happy with this response. And when you take it over to Twitter, the response to this is even worse. What's crack, it's Vangelina Skov, and today I'm going to be giving you a little update on Dissociated. They recently made an announcement on their Patreon, which was then posted on their Reddit. So today I'm going to be going through what they talked about, why they're talking about it, and why some people are so angry about their response. But before we get into that, just two things to say first. Uh, first of all, do you, do you notice anything different? at all. Or perhaps you don't notice anything. Maybe it's better if you don't notice something because I got a new mic. So hopefully the sound isn't terrible now. <laughs> the number one complaint that I had about my videos was the sound quality. So I'm hoping that this fixes it. I got a good mic and I'm very excited about it. I was waiting for it for like two weeks. So I'm very happy that it's finally here. So better quality videos. Yay. <laughs> that That's what this is. This is the pop filter. I can't get it out of the shot without the mic being too far away from my mouth. I'm sorry. And the second thing that I wanted to say is please subscribe and click the bell button to get notifications when I upload. Thank you very much. So yes, Dissociated did made an announcement on their Patreon saying thank you to their patrons and also discussing some of the issues that had happened around them recently. So as you probably know by now, if you are watching this video, Dissociated did are on a break for multiple reasons and they haven't really posted much on social media besides a post addressing the situation regarding Team Pinata, their then fiance. Another post which was addressing the fake screenshots, which I have done a video on. If you don't know about that, you can check that out. The link will be in the description. And some posts about Black Lives Matter. And so this post was one of the few that they had made during this very long break. This post is written by Nin and in it she says, hello everyone, we wanted to make a little post to let you know we are surviving and how much we appreciate all your support here, especially during and tears being on hold. You're all incredible and your donations are keeping us housed, able to pay rent and necessary costs, while we aren't able to be working on YouTube. We're looking forward to coming back online when we are safer, but we are currently taking measures to deal with the danger that severe doxing has put us in. This includes addresses, medical history, and legal names of us and those we love being publicly leaked online. We're still in crisis, but having lots of therapy to mitigate the risks. We love and appreciate every one of you. The kindness and generosity we have been shown here is beautiful. Thank you so much. All our love, Nin and Dissociated. So if you're reading this and you don't know what's going on, let me explain briefly. A couple of days ago on the Dissociated and Team Pinata forum on Kiwi Farms, someone leaked the address of Dissociated's parents. And despite People in that forum thinking that I was going to make a video about it, which they did mention, I didn't want to do that just because I didn't want to bring attention to the fact that their parents' address was somewhere online. For this situation, I thought it would be best to just leave it alone. But now that Nin has spoken about it, I think it's okay to address. So this leaked address is the doxing that Nin is referring to in this post. And if you're wondering why she mentions names and medical history being mentioned as well, that's because the name of her mom and I think possibly her dad have been mentioned on the forum, and because they've discussed in depth her diagnosis and treatment at the Pottergate Center. Although her diagnosis there was something that was already publicly known because she did announce that herself. One Twitter user has responded to this saying, you realize your legal name is on your dissociated Facebook account, right? It's in your bio. And you've been extremely open throughout your entire YouTube videos, vaguely insinuating and blatantly stating your medical history. So there may have been some other medical information leaked that I'm just missing, but that's all I know about. Now, as I mentioned before, this post was made just for their patrons to say thank you for sticking around, even though we're not posting anything on Patreon. But this was also posted on the Reddit. And on that Reddit post, we can see the comments and a lot of them are very supportive. But there are some that are more critical and not quite happy with this response. And when you take it over to Twitter, the response to this is even worse. And so you're probably wondering why people could be mad at a post like this. She's just explaining that she and her family have been doxxed and that she's in therapy and she's thanking her patrons. But people do have concerns about a few different things. First of all, in regards to the doxing, they're confused as to why she's saying that her legal name was doxxed when it's already been publicly known since she started her YouTube channel. People have also noticed that it wasn't actually dissociated that were doxxed, but just their parents. So they're starting to question why Nin is saying she and the system were doxxed too. Now this could be because since Kiwi Farms are talking about her family, her life, her diagnosis, that that could be considered doxing her as well. But I guess that's sort of still up for debate. And some more critical people have noted that in her earlier videos, she did show the entire street of her parents' house 
where she was living at the time. And in their eyes, this means that their parents' address was already publicly known. However, this isn't necessarily true because the address had never been posted anywhere, but apparently it's quite easy to just find it on Google Earth if you already know the general area that they are from. However, that's not to say that everybody is saying that it's Dissociated's fault for posting images and videos of the street online. A lot of people are very supportive in saying that this shouldn't have happened and it's horrible that their parents' address was leaked. So that's the problem that people have with the doxing aspect of this response. But what's the rest of the issue? Well, people aren't really happy with the fact that this is the only post that she's made on Patreon in months, despite the fact that her patrons are still paying for it. Now, if you're not really familiar with how Patreon works, there are different tiers and you pay a different amount for each one of those. And each of these tiers have different perks. For example, on Dissociated's Patreon, for $1 you can get access to Patreon-only live streams. For $5 you get to vote on specific video topics. For $100 you can be sent a handwritten postcard. And for $300 you can have a Skype call with one of their alters. So the problem that people are having is that they're still paying for these benefits, but they're not receiving them. Despite the fact that you can actually pause payments from your patrons. But it can also be said that the people who are paying for their Patreon know that they're taking a break and that they just want to support them financially anyway. And about this, one Twitter user has said, basically she kept charging people on Patreon as long as she could and has to update them so she continued to get money without doing anything. People are already failing for this book, line, and sinker. I think that's supposed to say people are already falling for this hook, line, and sinker. But you get the idea. And some people have even taken this one step further and said that this is Dissociated's way of promoting their Patreon while they're not active, since they have lost a lot of patrons lately. Since they started their break, their number of patrons has gone down from over 1,000 to currently 979. So a lot of people have been saying that this is number one Nin's way of keeping her patrons happy without actually posting anything and for two promoting the patreon and letting people know that they need the financial support but again there are people who are supporting them who are saying thank you for posting this saying we're glad you're okay we missed you we're sorry you've been doxxed but thankfully we can still support you financially So that's pretty much all that's going on with this. I hope this helps clear things up for you since I know when you're just seeing little bits here and there on Twitter, it's kind of confusing to figure out what's going on and why people are angry and why other people are defensive. So this is as much as I know about the situation. But do let me know what you think about this situation down in the comments, I would love to hear it. And a very important note, please don't go sending hate to anybody, please. <laughs> None of us really know the full story. Anyway guys, that's gonna be it from me for now. As I said at the start of the video, please subscribe and click the bell button to get notifications when I upload. And you can also follow me on social media. I don't know what this was, but it just felt right. <laughs> like, comment, share, do all the things that I'm supposed to ask you to do at the end of the video and have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye. I feel like I
I could write an essay on Dissociated at this point. Please don't make me write an essay on Dissociated.